welcome all of you to this video. In the previous video, we studied about the circumference and area of the circle. Today, in this video, we will be studying about the concept of the area of a sector of a circle. Here some circles are given. Can you determine the area of all of these? Well done! We find the area of all these circles with the help of the formula of the area of the circle. Let us consider one more circle. If we divide the circle into two parts, what will be its area? Correct! If the circle is divided into two, then it becomes what is called a semicircle. Each of whose area can be found with the help of 1 by 2 pi r square. You must remember that the center of the circle has a 360 degree angle. So, can you now tell how many degrees will be at the center of a semicircle? Absolutely correct! Half of 360 degrees, that is 180 degrees. Let's move the discussion forward. What do you understand by the shaded part of this circle? Well done! We had studied in the previous class that the part of the circle surrounded by two radii and corresponding arcs is called the sector of that circle. Hence, in this circle, the area OPMQ is minor sector and the remaining circular region is major sector. Where PMQ is the minor arc and PLQ is the major arc. So now, can you determine the area of minor sector OPMQ? Come, let's see. Assume in minor sector radius to be R and Angle POQ be theta degrees. Now we know that at the center of the circle, the sum of the total angles is 360 degrees, so its degree measure is 360. Hence, the area of the circle can be considered as a sector whose area is pi r square. Similarly, when the degree measure of the angle at the center is 1, the area of the sector is determined to be pi r square upon 360. So, can you tell when the angle at the center is theta, what will be the area of the sector? Absolutely correct! The area of the sector OPQ is theta divided by 360 multiplied by pi r square. With which, we can determine the area of any sector. If you are now asked to determine the area of the part other than the small sector, that is, the major sector OPLQ of the circle. So, can you determine the area? Come, let's see. Observing the figure carefully, we can tell that from the area of the circle pi r square, subtract the area of the minor sector. Then, what we get is the area of major sector OPLQ. In this video today, we studied about the concept of the area of a sector of a circle. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this concept.